Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Zobad Blood Collectibles and today you guys I'm gonna do it tonight. We're breaking down some I have some breaking toy news to talk about. But number one on the list that I really wanted to talk about today, which might be the remainder of uh which would take up half of my time on this video, is Charnamus Prime hosting Talker Art and Bug Nice. Or Boyg, nice, how do you say his name? ACBA, he's like the co-founder of ACBA. The people who take all those photos, they take some dope photos as well. And they have their own podcast and they have their own channel, which is really great. It is really great. And then Talker Art, I know this dude because he is a big McFarlane fan. He collects a lot of Spawn figures and that's how I first found him. Is by the Spawn figures and then McFarlane figures. And then now he collects Marvel too. But he says a lot of racist stuff. And he talks a lot of smack. But in real reality, he just like to do it just for the fun of it. And he doesn't, he's not like, he doesn't really mean it. But he does say a lot of racial stuff. And not only that, he says, he says a lot of disrespectful stuff. So I could get under I could see how that could get under a lot of people's skin. Now, on the other hand, Shardam is prying. His channel, he's good. I used to love him, but I start seeing a different side. Where I'm like, uh, oh, that's a dude that's kind of shady. Uh so like I still like his channel and I still like the guy. I don't know the guy personally, but just with some of his videos, it's kind of like awkward. Like he gives me that vibe like and I, I can read people pretty good, and it's like a, not a good vibe, you guys. So anyways, this dude holds a podcast between these two. These two had beef for like a while now, and these two go, get on this podcast, and uh, they just really, it just looks bad. Bad for the toy community, and then it just looks bad on both parts. If I was booked nice, I would have never done a video because it actually showed that Maybe this dude is, um, he do be in other people, uh, uh, comment sections on, uh, different channels. Like, he had, a, he was in, uh, had a little discussion going on with, uh, Articulated Ninja. He was in there yapping, and now he's over here yapping about talker art, but he's doing the same thing. He, he basically made himself, like, bad. Like, he takes the stuff personal, but at the same time... He bothers other people as well, talking his smack. I don't know if he's a good guy or not. It seems like he's a good guy, but at the same time, like, you you know, you just got to be careful doing to others as you will do, have them doing to you. And then Talker Art, on the other hand, this dude is not a racist guy. I believe the dude is not a racist guy. He just say a lot of unfiltered stuff that's that's just messed up. And he does it to get aroused out of people. He does it to get people under people's skin. He does it to get followers. He does it to get a lot of attention. Which is, like, that's part of the game. You, know? you do what you got to do. But at the same time, you could be respectful. But there's going to be people out there all the time that's going to be disrespectful. There's going to be people. When you put yourself out there, just know there's going to be people in your comment section that will be disrespectful. And... That will be racist. That will be all kind of stuff. So it's up to you on how you take it. Usually me, if I get something, a comment that I don't like, I just ignore it and then keep going. Because it's part of the game. You put yourself out there. You're able to, you, and you have to be able to accept everything that comes with that. And part of that is criticism. Part of that is racist. Part of that is stuff that you may not like and you may not want to hear. So the best thing to do is read the comment and just keep pushing. And then... Call the guy out on your on your thing, but don't ever go on a live and do something like this. It made me it lets me know that Charmus Prime is kind of shady for even having this pod. They even had these two together, and to do this on his uh, YouTube channel, I think it was just on a live stream. I think it was just bad bad publicity. Good for Charmus Prime because he got a lot of views, a lot of comments, but for Bug Nice, not so good. He did not look good at all in this. Uh, live stream talker art actually he came out on top out of all three of them because he knows that he's just doing all this to get uh, more viewers to get more people to come to his channel to get more subscribers just so people can see what he says and comment on him it's all about uh, 
uh, attracting the, the people to your channel and to help your channel grow you got to do whatever it takes hey if this guy have a million followers and everyone hates his guts but he has a million followers and 75 percent of those followers hate his guts then he's doing his job that's what he's doing he's making money off of you being mad and hating on him he's making money off of you so whether you like it or not you are a true subscriber to talk to art and that's all he did here i saw i read through his 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 genius laugh his his smile that he has on his face he's actually a genius because he's playing the devil's advocate and at the same time He's getting his followers. He's getting more subscribers. So he's just doing his thing. Even though he said he's not going to do YouTube no more. He'll, he'll be back making a YouTube video. In another week or two. Or if he already has. Already. So with me with this whole thing. Is, I think it's just. And I'm not on a script. This is no script. This is just come me just talking. And I just really think that. This live uh, live event that they did with Charmus Prime was just so horrible. It was like horrible for the community, horrible for ACBA, horrible for Bug Nice. He should have never went on there in the first place, and it was a total disaster. And he looked like an idiot at the end of the day. Uh, Talk Art, he's the idiot. That's what he plays. He plays the bad guy. He's the devil advocate, and he looked just like he is. So at the end of the day, he won. Charmus Prime, uh, he don't have a good look on him either. Because, like, I don't know. There's something that rubbed, rubbed me the wrong way with this guy. I just don't know. But I don't know him personally, so I can't judge it. I just have a vibe about this whole scene, this situation, and how the way Shiner's Prime handled it. it. He did it more for himself, it seemed like, to me. And uh, whether you like it or not, nothing got resolved. So that shows you at the end of the day that this was just a bunch of waste of time. So go check out that the uh, live stream that they did let me know what you think in the comment section below i watched the whole thing took time out and watched them and it was just it was funny uh laughable and at the same time just freaking ridiculous that got two grown men arguing about some toys so go check that video out so that's one thing i want to talk about now we got some more real stuff to talk about so let's go ahead and talk about those things Number one, real quick, do want to give a shout out to my wife, very beautiful woman, and we're doing really good right now in our new home, thanks to her. Uh, I love her so much. She's a rock and greatly appreciate it. And she was the one that pushed me to start my own YouTube channel, so I'm greatly thankful for that, sweetie. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and talk about some more exciting news from Mask. All right, you guys, so we got... Uh, Robocon 2023 reveal their uh, new like truck right here. This thing looks freaking awesome, and this thing is going to be a penny, pr uh, a, a really high price vehicle. I'm looking at 300 at least $300. Uh, this thing looks dope. You could put at least let's see, you got one in the front, another one in the front, it, about three figures. Uh, five figures all together you could probably get back there and that's not even including the trunk so this looks freaking awesome this is something i wish i can get but i can already see the price is going to be uh, ridiculously high and then on the second hand market easy going for 700 bucks uh, especially if it have light up sounds i mean if it has sound futures and light up futures as well as we already can see i'm pretty sure those lights in the front light up knowing mexico mexico go all out on their stuff so this is going to be a hefty price and probably something that i wish i could have but probably have to pass but hit me up in the comment section below let me know what you guys think